The last two homework problems in module 1.2 relate to calculating what's called the correlation coefficient. And it's represented with this value r. So sometimes it's lowercase r, sometimes a capital R. But in either of those cases, what we're looking to do is calculate a correlation coefficient. Again, it's not important right now what this value means. We just want to get familiar with completing a few different calculations with StatCrunch um, so that the system itself starts becoming a little more familiar. We'll start this off exactly the same way. Um, we have the tables listed here with the data for two different data sets. So there's one data set that relates to GDP, the other that relates to cellular. Um, so what we want to do is click on this icon, open this data in StatCrunch. Since those were two different data sets, we have two different columns of data to consider. And in this case, this row, this column for country, those are just labels. So this is country A, country B. So country, this isn't really any data that we'll be completing calculations with. We just care about the second and third column. So to come up with that correlation coefficient, we'll still click on the stat menu, just like we did for the mean, median, and other measures. We'll come to summary stats, but instead of choosing columns, we'll click correlation. So what we're trying to calculate now is the correlation coefficient. So to calculate the correlation, we need to select the two data sets that we're trying to calculate this correlation for. So we need to select the first data set, and then by holding the control key, we can select the data, second data set. So we need to make sure we have a pair of data sets here. We don't need to worry about any of these other options, and then we can just click compute. So the correlation between these two different variables is 0.889, etc. Again, you just want to make sure that you're comfortable with completing some of these basic calculations um, so that once we start getting into Module 2, Module 3, and beyond, um, you've completed some different steps with StatCrunch and the process is beginning to make a little more sense.